day I met you in Punch when you charmed me immediately with your cheeky humour and northern accent. I'd never met anyone like you. You're patient, smart, hilarious, <laughs> an explorer, and have an impressive drive to always learn new things. Nine and a half years later, we've already lived such a special life together and I know that there are even more memories to make as we close off one chapter and start another. But as we know, it's not just the big things that are important, it's the little things that make up life. And of course, it's the little things that you do every day that remind me of how wonderful you are. Like all the toast things that you share with me. <laughs> for dancing a jig when I'm strawberry to make me laugh. For immediately coming to my rescue when I'm stranded from losing my keys multiple times. And for making me laugh every single day for the whole time I've known you. And for making sure that every night before we fall asleep, we kiss goodnight because it's important. In turn, I promise to be your biggest supporter in whatever you're doing. Whether it's getting a new job, scaling a new mountain, or trying to be a boss in your latest game. I will be there to take on the hard times and I'll be there to celebrate with you when they pass. I also promise to keep sitting in the middle seat on planes and leaving you the last biscuit in the packet. Thank you. You've had my heart and have been my best friend for the last nine and a half years and I wouldn't change a thing. I'm so excited for our future together because it means more of the fun life we've already shared so far, except now I'll have the wonderful privilege of calling you my husband. Oh. 10 years ago, I met a beautiful girl with a long blonde ponytail, cool flared trousers, <laughs> and encapsulating brown eyes. I knew on that first meeting that I'd met a truly unique person and that I wanted nothing more than to talk with you, to listen to you, and to be in your presence. Six months later, a nervous first kiss transformed our committed friendship into the start of the most loving relationship that I could ever have hoped for. At the end of that first year, you had to return to Australia. I've come to realise that this was a pivotal moment in my life. Although it seemed like there were two paths ahead of me, there was only one that my heart would let me take. So I followed you across the world to your homeland. As you know, my one irrational fear is flying, so for me to fly from London to Sydney alone should have been the most difficult thing I'd ever had to face. But it was easy because each mile, each time zone, and each bad movie brought me closer to being reunited with you. Kelsey, the things I love about you are endless. I love your desire for travel and adventure, your curiosity and thirst for knowledge on whatever topic has fascinated you that week. I love your strong sense of fairness, such as your pant leg each philosophy. <laughs> I love how you apply yourself to things 100% and how you manage to maintain a level of calm when it's chaos all around us. But more than anything else, I love your sense of humour and the way you make me laugh every single day, which often involves serenading me with songs from The Simpsons. <laughs> Kelsey, I've had the privilege of being your best friend, your partner and your fiancé. I am truly honoured to become your husband too. I promise that when you're happy, I'll keep you smiling. And when the world has let you down, I will give you all the love, strength and support that I have to offer. I promise that I will do everything to ensure that the following chapters of our lives are filled with love, comfort and happiness. And I promise that I will never take for granted that you choose to spend the precious gift of your time with me. So we've come here on this lovely afternoon to this gorgeous place. You've stated that commitment, you've exchanged your wonderful vows and you've given each to the other uh, the gift of a wedding ring. So as a celebrant appointed by the Government of New Zealand, it gives me the very, very greatest of pleasure to announce that you are now formally married. And you might wish to share your first kiss as husband and wife. So this is a day that's going to stay with you forever because you started it as a couple in love, but now you've made that wonderful commitment, the commitment to marriage, and you are now husband and wife, and there's an island awaits you as a married couple.